Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anand Jr., uh, struggling to put thoughts together, and mission accomplished. Sort of. Well, I mean, I guess in a government sort of way. Uh, <laughs> I, I probably shouldn't joke like that, but I will. Uh... You can tell I was working on a big project, so I even bothered to go out and uh, get my own beacon. Um, I, I mentioned last week or the week before that that I had actually gotten the uh, the the end area set up properly for uh, to to cheese the wither boss, and uh, yeah, I definitely needed the jump boost to get this going. Uh, I figure out where to start with this. This is a farm that gets you either the crimson stems or the warped stems, depending on which you want to grow. And it does so, so through some ra rather intricate chicanery and uh, raise works has a 40 minute video at that URL right there. That goes over how this works and why it works. Um, and I definitely, I definitely, uh, I have some good takeaway ideas. Like if you need to get a, a signal from down below up at some indefinite height, uh, you can do this kind of deal if you need to power stuff up along the way you know ye, ye old hopscotch of slabs um and that works however comma you can also take a stack of scaffolding and put a trap door underneath it because what happens is when this trap door opens it changes the state of the scaffolding so it's no longer the the state it's it when it's resting on top of a solid object and instead it's the state it is when it's hanging off one from another bit of scaffolding and observers can detect that state change so at at the appropriate point in this machinery this redstone line gets powered, and that block gets powered. That trap door gets retracted or opened, and the scaffolding goes through a state change, and that observer notes it and fires off some stuff down that way. And way up, you know, oh, oh, oh no, 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 without the falling, without the falling, uh, way up here. If I can do this without killing myself. I went through so many rockets building this thing, it's not even funny. Um, way up here, this bit of scaffolding also gets its state change, and that observer recognizes it and fires off this little redstone path here, which uh, activates the TNT duper. That was uh, more than a little, little nerve-wracking to uh, to build, and, and I'll get into a little bit of that, why that is. I, I didn't want... To do a TNT duper, but the timing on this thing is so intricate, I was not confident in my ability to drift from the tutorial. So I built it exactly as it is. And the idea is that magic happens below there, a tree grows from one of five potential spots, well, one or more of five potential spots, and once it detects a tree is grown, that stack of pistons pushes everything over one to clear space for a TNT to come down. And every couple of growth uh, cycles, that second one will go down. And every eight or so growth cycles, that third one will go down to help clear out some of the stuff that's happening up at the top. Uh, the reason why I said mission sort of accomplished is 
after running well for a few minutes on its own, I said, cool. Kicked it into gear, went AFK, walked away from the computer, and came back to find um, some pistons missing, all the end stone missing. There's still another piston missing over there. Uh, some of the redstone up here missing, some of the brick wall that was in here missing. Oh, oh, almost forgot. That That is another... Uh, I kind of wish I knew this when I was trying to do some of the guardian farm stuff because this is a trick that would have solved one of the problems I really wanted to solve with being able to turn the farm on and off. Uh, and that is... Let me carefully make my way across... Doggone it. There was a lot of that going on uh, during the construction of this particular machine. Uh, a lot of failed parkour. And, and other general stuff. Okay. So, at some point, when this is done, and it needs to send a signal back down, it powers this block which causes this trap door to move up to the right, which changes the way the wall blocks are. Because remember, when a stone wall, and it doesn't have to be black stone, it can be, it can be stone brick, it can be cobblestone, any, any kind of stone wall. Uh, when it is next to an object, it shifts from... It, it, shifts in the way it's connected and that cascades all the way down so this trapdoor hops up there is a super rapid change in the state of the brick wall um, and I'm getting nervous about it being dark because of course it would have to be nighttime by the time I'm trying to explain something uh, a momento No, that's not the takeaway. All right, let's get back down this way safely. So that is also why when I built the surrounding wall, I didn't build it on the edge like I was expecting to because then this wall would connect to this wall and it would screw up the system. So yay for spacing things out. Also, um... So, Ray's work, Ray did the tutorial, uh, it, he designed the farm, did the tutorial on how it all works, um, and Random Gaming did a block-for-block -block build guide that is... On the balance, it is good. I mean, obviously, I was able to build it. Uh... One the a few critiques, if I may. Uh, at the time, they initially put everything together. They thought that it didn't matter which direction the farm faced because uh, Minecraft, at the end of the day, is still a program. Order of operations are a thing, and believe it or not, the direction a farm is facing or the direction uh, a device is working can impact whether or not it works, depending on how intricate a build it is. They initially thought that this guy right here would work fine no matter what direction it was facing. They later decided that it only works in a north-south orientation. Uh, I took that to mean it didn't mean it, it didn't matter if the front was facing south, like I have it built, or north, just so long as it was one of the two. So there is a small possibility that were I to flip this around, it would work just fine. I am not flipping this around. Uh, <laughs> 1.17 is out. We're going to wait two weeks, and I'll talk a little bit more about what's coming up next. But So, with only two weeks left on the server, I ain't flipping it around. Uh, I, I had the joy of building this, learning some of the stuff of how it works. Um, one of the big frustrations for building this though is random gaming's tutorial 
was done in creative like a lot of the tutorials out there which is fine for keeping keeping things short or at least short adjacent I mean the the tutorial for building this is 50 some odd minutes long uh, and that's not counting the the part he forgot to put in about storage and that's moving pretty quick with all you know uh, the the unlimited inventory that creative mode brings um, but that means that when you're doing stuff like the TNT dupers over there and you're standing level with the middle of those three blocks there trying to get a slime block under the one that you're at when you don't have a platform that is under gets challenging to say the least um, it's easy to say put a temporary block and break it until you gotta go well my temporary block just got eaten by one of these hoppers where did it go and you get to hunt through the system to make sure that that random blackstone slab is not sitting somewhere that it's going to cause a problem like it's not blocking up one of the composters under here like that guy right there which is actually one of the three places that it that uh, stuff tended to end it up the composters under these two composters are two of the places that stuff tended to get stuck the third is down under here and it's usually uh, that dispenser there before all the bone meal gets in so yeah take that for what it's worth uh, having jump boost really helped because there, there was a lot of jumping around jumping over various components parkouring here and there because again the tutorial is in creative where you can get to all sorts of creative positions to place the blocks that you need to place uh, you it's easy to say put a temporary block and break it when you don't have to worry about where it's falling because in creative mode it doesn't fall anywhere um, and, and and lastly uh, poor random uh, his audio and video got out of sync for a large portion of the build so you're trying to follow along and he's going and we're putting five, uh, slabs one two three four and on the video you're seeing slabs seven eight and nine <laughs> it makes it super frustrating to figure out what is going on um, so yeah that, that, that that's that, that was one of the uh, that was one of the less fun bits of this entire endeavor uh, so I'm gonna try to fix what I think is the last little bit I need to get one more piston up there and I need to fix a little bit of that redstone right there so let me uh, let me let me see if I can do that without making things worse. The nice thing about using the uh, stems for <laughs> scaffolding is they're supposed to fall into those offers, so it's not going to break anything if they do. Um, first up, let's see if I can remember how this goes. Oop. No, 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 without falling off, without falling off. I need a repeater to go here. Uh, but I need it facing the other direction. Okay. I need a repeater going there into a solid block there. Stone dust here, and it's going to a 
slab here. And stones going there. And there. And back up there. Okay. I think that's it. Because the redstone power is going to come up traveling up the half slabs it's going to get to this spot where the power level is going to be weak enough that you want to boost so you're using that repeater to power this block to get a fresh power of 15 14 13 12 12 11 10 9 8 7 uh it looks like i'm missing a couple of slabs up there too all right one problem at a time I don't even know that I can handle one problem at a time, but okay, we'll try. How are the rest of you guys doing? Well, I'm rambling over here. <laughs> I know I'd that. I'd be feeling. doing better if I could remember the coordinates to our base. Uh, what you mean, like the community center part of the base? Yeah. I am at 396. I'm not going to bother giving you the Y because elevation doesn't matter. Uh, 450 will put you right in front of the foxes and their holding pin. Speaking of which, what are we doing with these foxes? Uh, they were supposed to be for a sweetberry farm that I have not yet gotten around to building. Alright. I think I found, might have found a little glitch here. What do you Pretty mean? Nice little glitch. I used one rocket that that just kept it kept going as if I was hitting rockets. I would just fly for a little bit, and then you'd hear the sound of a rocket, and it would shoot me further and further and further. I only used one rocket to do so. Uh, are you sure you're not about to be uh, pushed back? To <laughs> Appear to be close to home now. Oh, Here this this just now start to render in. This was the other difference. Uh, when your build tutorial is in creative mode, and the day cycle is not happening, you don't have to worry about stopping your build every few minutes to go sleep. Whereas, if you're trying to build this in survival, you will need to stop every few minutes to. Uh, go sleep. You will need to put up a fence and a blockade of some sort because wandering traders just love spawning in the middle of the redstone. And then you gotta fight, figure out where in the hopper train the llama's head is. I mean, uh... And, uh... Oh, yeah. And there's also the homeowners association coming by to inspect and make sure that everything is to the regulation that of course it's not, because they're never happy. It's the Homeowners Association. Uh, there should be? Okay. Where'd the last one go? Oh. This. This problem. Right here. That um, I got very good. Oh, except now that there's a glass block there, I don't know that I can. Uh, there we go. That works too. Okay. Alright. Not gonna ask questions. Oh, that was the other thing. I, I did get a lot of logs in places that they weren't supposed to be. 
Uh, I'm not sure what that was all about. But, uh... Let's give this another... Give this another shot. See if we can figure out what's going on. Come down here. Lever up. Push the button. And then watch the crims crimson stems come into being. Tree grows. TNT falls. Ta-da! Each time a tree grows, that line of ancient debris is supposed to push out a little hole there for the TNT to fall. And the reason why we're using ancient debris is because it is the only block in the game that is not destroyable by TNT, but is movable by pistons. Because uh, obsidian would work, except you can't move obsidian with a piston. And endstone for a couple of places where... I, I don't know why endstone was used there and up there. I'll have to go back and watch the tutorial again just to see if I can figure out why why you didn't just use ancient debris all the way down. Um, there we go. That's it. Sit back. Let the... Uh, let the crimson stems go. Uh, roll. You can build a second one for warped. There's no way that I know of to easily switch out between the two. Um, is that what happened? Because it doesn't look like the pistons moved everything out like it was supposed to. That might have been it. I wonder if that's a wiring mistake or a problem with the machine. Because it doesn't look like, uh... Doesn't look like that's actually moving... Moving everything forward like it's supposed to? Did I not wire something upright? That's a possibility. Yeah, that's not... Oh, bother. Something is not right. <sighs> yeah, it doesn't look like the pistons were pushing out, uh, pushing out the hole for the TNT like they were supposed to. block got destroyed that wasn't supposed to. Right, oh, that's... Okay, so the redstone sh should be traveling up that far. Because it's this guy... F oh! Seriously. was originally supposed to be there. There was originally supposed to be something there. I think a solid block like that one there. Alright, so that hooks that back up. Let's try it again, shall we? There we go. That's supposed to happen. Oh. Stand back a little bit further. Yep. The redstone is getting blown away there. Uh, so. I wonder... I wonder if I've got some, uh, endstone floating around. Endstone is a lot more blaster. 
of the yeah and stone's a fairly blast resistant block it's a full block which means that when the observer flashes it'll power the end stone which the repeater can pull a signal from because so i think there was supposed to be i wasn't looking for that to be the problem Because I think it said just any solid block. And if I did my usual, then that would have been wool there. Or maybe the block was missing from the tutorial entirely. That's also a possibility. All right. Third time's a charm, right? We'll stand back here. This could be safe. Tree. Push. TNT. That definitely explains the problem, though. Ooh. And we've got... Doing his thing. Tree. Push. Here comes the TNT. Alright, maybe that's it. Maybe that's all I needed to do. Alright, I'll have to go, I'll have to let it run AFK for a while and see if, uh, that's legit all I needed to do. Let's, uh, and what, what I was thinking of doing was, once this was working, uh, running it so that way instead of the crimson stems getting pull, uh, saved in these two chests here, getting them sent over to the, the wood storage down that way. But once it broke, I was kind of not not feeling like doing that level of effort. Okay. That is the weirdest thing. Um. Oh. Uh, could somebody not shoot flaming arrows over by the TNT feel, uh, filled redstone contraption? That would be greatly appreciated. Alright. Let's drop that in there. But that is the ultimate goal. That, that's why I got this pilot hole over here to find out where the canal is there. So I just need to route from those boxes over there to that tunnel under there is the thought that I might save for later today. I honestly wasn't expecting that to work. I'll clean this up later. I'll clean that up later. Uh, one of the other things that I wanted to do was just the smallest little farm to test it out. Because uh, I, I think I'll probably be making good use of it next season uh, for my own convenience and laziness. I think I'm going to call her a little Skyblock Interlude Season 2 just to make life easier and figuring out what happened when. Does that make sense? Any objections? Nope. Hmm? Nope. Two signs. No, not season one and a half. Is uh 
Are you having problems with voice again, Reyes? Or is this because you're eating dinner? No, I'm not calling it Season 1 Part 2 The Reckoning either. Or The Quickening. Or any other Season 2 joke. Or Part 2 joke. Got the stupid spill perfect proof cup and I still managed to spill it. Helps if you unmute yourself. Oh, oh my. Okay, then I, we'll, we'll we'll talk when you get on. Uh, for those that don't know, we we are doing a uh, an abbreviated season of Skyblock, and we're gonna start back up the vanilla once uh, one dot eighteen releases, also known as Caves and Cliffs Part Two. The part that actually contains the caves and cliffs, because uh, we didn't want to we didn't want to miss out on the full world generation. And I saw those guys out of the corner of my eye and thought it was a uh, a wandering patrol. I'm missing something besides my brain. Yeah, it does that. Did you happen to uh, read that article that I put in general about the uh, Korean generation with the... Yes, that doesn't address the, the overriding issue, though. Any areas we explore are generated. That's it. We will not see a cave or cliff of the new variety in anywhere that we explore not according to what that article said no the only thing that no regenerate is places where we built something um sure for, for forgive my forgive my skepticism because i've been down this road with terrain generation before when 1.12, 1.13, 1 1.14, 1 1.16, but that was easy because we could just nuke the nether then. font to be something a little bit easier to uh, easier to figure out if that's an L or a capital I.
Is that a G or a Q? I think that's a Q. Just realized we we went this whole this whole way with uh, without detailing that one. Did uh, I'm pretty sure I marked out the the pork chop farm. Um, load baby load. Come on, there we go. find where my notes I got this one I got it from somewhere I thought I had marked it out this is definitely one of those farms that we need to do earlier next go around Said. Look at all that pork chop cooking up. <laughs> it's enough to make a cardiologist smile. Yeah, I'll have to go back to the video where I built that then. I'm pretty sure I put that in the link in the description. Which I will need to do for the farm I just built. Right. I thought for sure I left a note somewhere around here. By the by, somebody's got a shulker box full of stuff over here. Yes, I might as well. Uh... Grab some food for the road. Oh, without crashing into anything. before it gets too late and maybe leave an actual, actual time for, I don't know what, something. I want to build this out of. bad haul for a short run yesterday. The idea was also to build a second one for the warped route and also try to save the shroom lights, which uh, I wasn't able to do because I didn't realize that you've got two different hopper lines feeding into two different storage systems. So I was losing half the shroom lights it was capturing 
basically what I'd have to do is I'd have to extend this out a few more blocks that way and set up two filters, one on this hopper line and one on this hopper line. Um, so that that might be that might be a season three project where I try that again. Uh, I do have some very mixed feelings about these kinds of intricate projects. They are fun to do. Uh, I do learn a lot about redstone. They are very resource intensive and when they don't work like that guy there or you run into very weird unexpected problems like this guy here, uh, they are immensely, immensely frustrating and a little less fun since, you know, they're not working right. But, uh... I don't know. I'll probably still do a few more before. I'll probably keep... I'll probably keep working them. Even if they are frustrating at times. Acacia Grove, and then, uh, well, yeah, I guess it works here as well. Although it's a, it's going to be a mini crop farm, and it makes a little more sense over by the melons and pumpkins than it does on the other side of the nether wart. I'll rehome these guys. Oh, come on. It's amazing how quick you get used to the jump boost. as bad as oak. There we go. Ow. Where did we get an apple tree from an acacia? Oh, because there's some oak leaves over here. working on um I was just like kind of digging up some more 
More what? So, or more uh, coal, lapis, um, what do you call it? Uh, redstone. Just mining, I guess. Oh, hey, brought me out right here. Cool. of things to do to prep for the next go round. Uh, I need to see if I can figure out how to get world how world edit works because I'd like to get a spawn island that has the coffee graph logo on it. Uh, something like what we had in season zero. Seriously, that one log was holding all that up. But uh, I am, <laughs> I, I am very excited to to see us do Skyblock because just in that little test, within a day, each of us went in four very different directions for our islands, and I'm curious how that would work, at, how that would look at the end of. Uh, you know, a few months. Definitely be pretty interesting. I am curious if you guys are interested in me trying to figure out... Oh, there's your wandering trader. If, uh... If you guys want me to try to... You know how we got the hearts on the tab screen? I don't know if it is a thing that can be done, but if it is, would you guys want me to try and get the island score on the tab screen? Uh, yeah. If that is a thing that can be done. Yeah, although I'd again i'm i'm not i'm, I'm, I'm actually not yeah i'm not overly concerned about score uh, except you know as bragging rights from time to time i i am most curious about the the divergence in our builds but yeah for kicks if yeah, the game's gonna if the game's gonna give us a score you know you guys have already seen that uh even me playing a few hours, you were way outscoring me. Uh, yes, but I had already been playing more. I played twice as long as you had. Because I had started that test way earlier that day. Well, even with Arcadius, I mean, I, I came in shortly after Arcadius and, uh, he was still way past me. But I think I, I spent a lot more time focusing on some of the smaller stuff. And oh, oh, yeah. That, my, my island my island looked like an island designed by, M by M.C. Escher. So, you know, uh, which I won't do again. <laughs> uh, it, it is not going to look like an Escher sketch. Uh I will pay a little bit more attention to layout and other stuff, but it's also worth remembering that um, there is a the score the score of your island is based on the number of blocks placed and the type of blocks placed. So if you'll notice, I had placed a lot more cobblestone than any of you guys. Which is part of how my island was such a high, such a high score because I had more blocks built and placed in the world. Um, the thing to remember, though, is that you get diminishing returns 
past a certain point. So, putting down even more cobblestone is going to net you smaller and smaller rewards the more you put down. That's to encourage you to uh, start building with spruce or start building with uh, stone brick or smooth stone or y you get the idea. So that is worth keep keeping in mind too. Uh, I do like that it kind of holds you back from doing certain things until your island reaches a certain level. Um, oh, cow. Okay. Because that, uh, that, that does, that does keep things, uh, uh, a little special. What do I need? I need... To get my thoughts together. I need to get my brain together. Never mind. That's not going to happen. I need three dispensers. I need... Apple redstone dust. I'm going to need... Observer, piston, a lever, we need water too. Does the Wandering Trader have anything good? I didn't even look. Oh, good thing Rayos didn't hear that. Alright, I'm actually going to... put... one stair anyway, so I'm going to make a couple more. I'm trying to get in the habit of making sure that when I put things like water sources and, and that kind of thing down, um, that I put waterlogged slabs or stairs or something like that so it's a little bit easier to to find, and so I don't stumble across a, a bit of broken land somewhere, and and realize the hard way that, uh, oh yeah, I had built something there. something Facing down. A block there. A block there. Nope. And 
just all around. The piston goes right there. The lever goes right there. And that should be it. I'm actually wondering if this is going to be something that I can make in the Skyblock world. Because uh, I was looking for a low redstone farm. And this might be it, although... It's... Uh, cobble, a redstone, and a bow for the dispenser? Or am I thinking of the dropper? Yeah, so cobble's not going to be a problem, but getting a bow and a redstone dust. So that is three redstone dust, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's thirteen redstone dust to make that work. So I guess it's going to depend on how hard it is to get redstone dust in Skyblock once you get going. Oh. I need... Build a good enough mob farm, you, you'll have plenty. Yeah, the, the witches will definitely uh, get you some redstone. So there, there is that. But are they going to get you enough to get that? <laughs> oh, I, I do. I do have an idea. I'm curious to see if I can actually pull off when it comes time for uh, for early game mob farm. I, I, I saw it in. Uh, a video that Impulse and Skizzleman did. Because <laughs> uh, I, th I was trying to figure out how to do a mob grinder like what we got in there, only instead of installing all the trapdoors to keep the... to limit it to creepers, leaving it open so it'll open up to everything. Um, and... The, the the trick is to figure out how to do how to do the clock uh, in a skyblock series that impulse and Skizzleman did they used what they jokingly referred to at well half jokingly referred to as a boat clock and it is uh, not far off from what you would think it's a it's using a uh, water sources and pressure plates to create a flat loop of water and then you just put a boat in it so the boat follows the flow of the water around the loop and at a certain point you have one of the pressure plates hooked up to your redstone so instead of doing uh, like an etho hopper clock like what we got in our system here which takes up a lot of redstone you just need uh, some pressure plates, some wood pressure plates, and uh, a boat, and a little ingenuity. It's nowhere near as compact as that. Okay, I thought I saw a block there. But then when you stop and consider that's 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, 15, 18 redstone, 19, 20, plus the slime, uh, plus the iron for the hoppers, and yeah. That, as efficient as it is, gets super expensive, especially when you consider that uh, 
when looking through the, the code to try to figure out some other stuff with uh, Skyblock. Each island has a cap on the number of hoppers you can have. It is initially 50. I do, I do not know if that goes up as you level your island up or not. There's also a similar cap on the number of uh, passive mobs like sheep and cows and such. And there's a cap on the number of villagers you can have on your island. I don't know if they go up or down based off of uh, your island ranking, but I do know that there is a cap that happens at some point. Which means you got to get creative. So instead of pulling, uh, you know, builds the way some people do and carpet, carpet the bottom with hoppers to pick up everything, you got to get a little more creative in uh, figuring out how to move stuff around. And uh, it's that kind of creativity that uh, that makes life very interesting on the next go round. And sorry, Rayest, I don't think there's a way for you to sell your hopper allegation. I think she's still having computer trouble. <laughs> she totally would if she could. Uh, yeah, I know. But, uh, I don't know how I feel about the limits, other than it's definitely going to cause a little more uh, care and consideration as to how things are built. I think I might end up, um, I think I might end up using far, far more uh, hopper minecarts than I usually do for. Uh, collection from stuff in various farms and whatnot. Just because I know that'll be something that uh, that can cover a wider area with less effort. So where I'd normally use five hoppers for something, I'll use a hopper minecart. Of course, that still begs the question of where I'm going to get that iron from. You know, I think I'd have to make a, a trading hall such that the trading hall and the iron farm work together. Because if there's a cap on uh, if there's a cap on villagers having three villagers dedicated to just an iron farm, like even half of one of those guys, like you know, having those three guys stuck in a in a iron farm, that's you know it that's eating into my villager cap. I, I got to make sure that they're still usable. Here for uh, yeah, some of those guys. Some of those guys, some of those guys, and some of those guys. So I want to see if this works as advertised. I remember building something very similar to this little guy. Uh, oh, and I need a sign. My brain. If you could find where I put my brain. I, I think that got lost in the storing system. Obviously, I'm going to want to build some sort of decoration around this, but the idea is uh, you're taking advantage of the fact that crops break when there's a light level below a certain amount, so that piston's going to retract and the crop will break off, but not before these three dispensers cause it to grow all the way. So you're going to uh, hold whatever it is you're trying to grow in this little spot and just hold down right-click um, 
these guys are going to fire on a regular clock while this is unpowered. They'll cause it to grow. That's going to retract. The crop will break. It extends. You plant it. These guys cause it to grow. That retracts. It breaks. Rinse, repeat. Oh, there we go. I do believe that's working with wheat. So far, so good. It is definitely a little more finicky than I expected. Wow. That's not bad. Does it work for beetroot? I don't know why you need this much beetroot. Although... Now that I think about it, uh, on a resource-limited island, beetroot's not a bad way to get beetroot soup. Exactly. Fairly, fairly quick, because it's, what, one beetroot in a bowl to make beetroot soup, or is three. it more than three? Three across the top. Oh, okay. Then I wonder what makes it better than bread, then. Or does it fill more saturation? I was about to say saturation, I think. Yeah. Although I really wish they'd make it so that way soup bowls stacked. Don't don't tell me it's because it doesn't make sense. I got potion bottles that stack. Oh, I know it doesn't stack. It, it's just uh, why, when everything else finally stacks, that uh, that soup bowls don't. Oh. Because it's just as powerful as a totem, and they don't stack, so... Is it just as powerful as a totem, though? I mean... Not even close. <laughs> you, 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 you... <laughs> not, not even close. I was no? No? Like, okay. No. I actually wouldn't mind... Okay, yeah, I wouldn't mind putting a hopper under there to catch a lot of the extra stuff and then maybe spit the, the seeds back out at you. But still, I mean, like, that's just a few minutes. Now, that really eats into your bone meal supply so you gotta have a really good you know source of bone meal like i don't know the overflow from an overproductive melon pumpkin farm um that's at that point why aren't you just eating those uh y well y you can't eat the raw pumpkins though i mean i don't know who would or who would want to but still <laughs> Well, I mean, you can and you can't. I mean, it wasn't that far in that you got eggs or a chicken, and you start yeah. with a sugar, sugar cane. cane, so you could have a, a functional pumpkin, pumpkin pie. pie farm in no time. You know, I forgot about that. Yeah, because that's what I. That matter of fact, that's what I did in season zero. Because I had those pumpkins right there by the cave and the sugar cane down the river. And then I caught a couple of chickens and ate, lived off of pumpkin pie until we finally got something better. It was like two weeks before we ended the season. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad if you can get enough enough redstone early on. Because it's not too terribly expensive. And then you figure once you get enough crops, you can start turning in those uh, crop rewards fairly quick. Then you just got to worry about keeping up with the bone meal to make that happen. It's all good. I don't have to worry about my score. You're going to be too busy burning all your coal to make food. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was me too. That's the first... Like, you didn't even stay long enough to see the rest of my base. You came and was like, Oh, 
I forgot about, I forgot about campfire. campfires. Just, like, I know, I away. know. It's like, wow, okay. Well, I, well no, uh, but I, I was <laughs> not. I was not using my coal to make food. I was just sitting there with a bunch of unused uh, steaks, looking awfully sad in storage. I, I, so I'm living off of bread while I got these steaks in the freezer. <laughs> I guess I'll mumble on another baguette. I could be hating steak. But I'm just going to eat another baguette. <laughs> hey, that's okay. I was still eating cooked cod. Yeah, I never I never quite got the, the, fish, the fish to spawn right. I tried setting up a pool for that, and it wasn't it wasn't working. I didn't even bother with a pool. All I did was drop the water bucket off the side of the island, and the fish were spawning in the elevator. <laughs> yeah, I never I never had that. I never had. Well, I'd say problem, but it was the problem was that it weren't spawning. <laughs> I, I would have loved to have had a water source of, of fish flowing down that I could go whack with a sword and. You know, go spear fishing. Funny thing was, I didn't even have to whack with a sword. I just AFK right next to it, and they'd oh, pop yeah. out until they died, and then it'd immediately pick it up. Yep. Yeah, that is. That's going to be one of the other things that's going to be interesting. Is trying to figure out a way to get as many, as many farms to to work while you're standing in one spot. <laughs> Because that that might be the trick to getting obscene amounts of resources is figuring out how to how to position the farms in just such a way that everything everything ultimately collects to you. Oh, hang on, I need to. Uh... I am a paramedic. Challenge accepted. Say that again. I said I was a paramedic, so challenge accepted. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. What is the easiest way to get something done without doing the minimal amount of work? Without actually doing much in the way of work? Yeah. I mean, the nurses weren't exactly slacking on that either. Or maybe that was just the students trying to figure out how to get out of clinicals. All my stuff is already replenished. That I am going to miss during our Skyblock series. I have got to find a stupidly crazy XP farm. Like, fast. <laughs> Why? What are you going to do with XP? <laughs> Mend? Enchant? Uh, although, with my luck, I'm probably never going to get Mending on the Enchanting. how much fishing you do. Nah, because they changed all those loot tables, remember? They, they tried to, to nerf AFK fishing for that purpose. I thought they put it back to being decent for actual fishing. Uh, not quite. Not, not the way they changed it. Somebody actually put together a data pack to put the old fishing tables in. So if you wanted to have the OP AFK fishing, you could. No, I'm not putting that on the server. So you can't AFK fish anymore. Hmm. No, Il Mango and a couple of the Psycraft guys have figured out ways to do AFK fishing that gets around all the rules designed to prevent AFK fishing. Mostly because you told some German engineers that you can now officially not do that anymore. And they also said, challenge accepted. Yes, well, you you just said Il Mango. Il Mango also made a giant uh, tier, a gas tier farm, yeah. where they were moving tiers through the uh, the nether or the the uh, the portals themselves. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be. Doing, I don't think we're at that level yet. 
even if they did a step-by-step -step tutorial, I don't think I'd be at that level yet to, to go. Oh, I, I know, I know. I saw on one of the one of the one of the tours of the Psycraft server that they had a spot set up where just you see ghast just falling to their death out of these portals, and it's, it's like an obscene number of gas just spilling out, flowing like water out of this portal, and, and, and yeah. Guys, come on. They also know how to screw with the random number generator to get you whatever weather you want. So you can say, hey, I need it to rain. They push a button, magic happens, and then it rains. Like. Well, for our, um, for our fans who decided to download the season eventually <laughs> i have took it upon myself to go somewhere in the community center area and hide all of my diamond and gold and emerald locks <laughs> oh goodness so they are all hidden now for future guests to find oh no are, are they over by all the wandering trader heads that you've uh deposited here and there like should should I wonder is that is that what's causing our troubles? Like we have too many entities from all the wandering trader heads planted here and there. No, I didn't put a whole bunch of those. I only had like I don't know, seven or dozen. eight. <laughs> no, it was only like, it was only like seven or eight of them that I. It was only seven I or eight dozen. But it, well, that dozens. wasn't here in the community center. That was that was all over random places in the world. Okay, so that's fair. That, that was me yeah. just find you know, like I'm out doing something. And I'm going okay. I'll just put one here, and then I'll go out and do something else somewhere else, and uh, I'll put one here. No, oh, when I got my uh, two beacons, Arcadius, I got a uh, Witherhead. Okay, and the other Witherhead. I want to say there's a grand total of like three of them. Yeah. You know, this entire season, I still have yet to actually get a chicken head. Really? Or a pig head. Still? I mean, I haven't. I don't. Well, th I don't think I've gotten a pig's head either. But uh, I know those are three of the chicken heads that I, I've obtained. I might have yes, some more in a box hunt? somewhere. Oh, you know what? I know. Hmm? I'm gonna go... You gonna go murder some chickens? I actually have a chicken generator that has a lot <laughs> of eggs that I completely oh. forgot about. Come on, I'm gonna drown. make it rain chickens. And I'm gonna get me a chicken head for this season's over. <laughs> uh, I got an angry bee. I got a couple of endermite heads. Uh, I put a few, I put one up in the AFK spot above the, uh, the farm. <laughs> but did you get a pollinated angry bee? Yes. Uh oh. That's the only one I have. It was an accident too. I didn't intend to. <laughs> what they all say. Mm -hmm. I need to do something with this guy too. I think uh, I think I'll look up a couple of different villager breeders for next week and try to put one in the in the top of the lighthouse here, mostly so I can look for other villager breeder designs that uh, I can use in Skyblock. <laughs> At some point, oh yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. Flying, flying without chunks loading around here is not a good idea. Hello, Cliff. Where's Norm? That was a pretty cool little base. Uh, we'll 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 have uh, 
we will have some fun with the islands. Yeah. Arias just likes the fact that it uh it won't let you look in other people's boxes. Yeah, I noticed that. I, I noticed that she was very, very fond of that particular uh feature. Chickens whom I have neglected for oh you the uh season. made a couple of changes down here. <laughs> a few. Yeah, quite a few banners. I wonder if you can use, can you use banners as a uh, fuel for a furnace. Inquiring minds want to know. I, I, I don't know. You can try. <laughs> There's a stack of banners to try. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like we don't have a blue million of them. I know. I know. Yeah, I, I thought I, I thought I was pretty happy with the uh, carpet duplicator furnace system that I had in season zero, and I uh, looking for something else. I saw a video that somebody put together with a system that puts that to shame. Like it runs, it's a, it produces enough carpet to fuel sixteen furnaces at full blast. I'd really like the world to load in, please. I'm not looking to do a George of the Jungle remake. Watch out for that tree. Oh, can you get heads off of baby chickens? No. Y you cannot get mob heads off of baby anything to prevent you from trying to farm babies for mob heads. Yes, you can burn banners for fuel. <laughs> so we've been holding on to all these banners all season. I know, <laughs> I know. We we should totally just been <laughs> tossing them in uh in the furnace. Now, I'm going to have to remember that. Of course, I don't think I would have... You know? I don't know if you have to worry about uh, pillager patrols in Skyblock. That's an interesting question. I guess you'd have to... Uh, I, you'd have to have a... a have spawnable area for them. Yeah, you'd have to have a spawnable area for them. I wonder what other conditions you need for a... Uh, this server is lagging so bad. Okay, I thought that was just me. What's, uh... What is... What is going on? Alright, Arcadi Arcadius is AFK. Is anybody by a machine that's... Oh, oh, oh. I know what it probably is. Uh, you know it desperately <laughs> needs overflow? Overflow protection? protection. This thing. <laughs> the uh, water cooler? Uh, because all, all that... All that sugar cane that's not getting picked up by the boxen... That is causing us some problems. Well, considering the fact that we only have two weeks left, 
think it's safe to say we don't need any more sugar cane and uh, gunpowder, so. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's I a fair reason. Uh, I can definitely fix it to where it's not producing anymore. You're going to turn the machine off? Are you going to do I a very dramatic shutdown of everything? No, I, I want to keep it running, or I want to keep it... Uh, Functional. Functional. To see. Yeah. Right. But, you know, just make it to where they might have to, uh, oh, I don't know, replace something for it to work. Oh, um. Well, uh, this lost my connection to the server. Yep. That makes me too. Nope. Connection refused. Hmm. All right. All right. In intermission. <laughs> intermission. Oh, yeah. Uh, server shut down. Server crashed before starting up. Not auto restarting. server yeah I keep thinking about going over and maybe taking just one of the uh one of the hopper lines and connecting it up to a composter so that way the uh, the overflow from the sugar cane will always get picked up by the last hopper and uh, go into a composter preparing 60% 61% done warning can't keep up chat window now too yeah all right server is back up it's just a uh, yeah figuring out like one of these areas and just uh, getting a getting a line somewhere to to drop the extra into a composter. Actually, at this point, just into lava would be fine. Or maybe taking one of these lines that was originally for gunpowder and turning and setting it up for uh, sugar cane. find the right spot to poke through.
two, three, four, five. Very nearly six stacks circling the drain. Wow. Okay. Oh, kudos to you and your very efficient farm. Or very productive farm. I only wish that I had gotten on the uh, gunpowder side a little bit sooner than I did. We had a lot of random uh, bulker boxes floating around too. And this is another one of the... Uh, I'm not going to be able to put together a lot of the sorting systems that I want to if I if I'm stuck to 50 hoppers on my island. Like even the bulk storage like this, that's at least 3 hoppers per thing you're trying to sort, one for the item filter and then you need at least 2 down to make it work. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's a shame. I wonder if I can find a, a, a sortable storage system that uses less hoppers. Because, uh... There's more than 50 hoppers right there. <laughs> I don't even want to... I don't remember how many hoppers went into this. All I remember is whatever number I told Rayest was the wrong number. And we needed a lot more. And the droppers, oh yeah, that, 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 that got expensive real quick. The, uh, the observers. It's going to be a lot harder to get, uh, it's going to be a lot harder to get nether quartz. At least until you can get a uh, piglin trading hall put together. And even that's... I, I wonder I wonder what they count towards in, a, in the in the mob cap. That's an interesting question. Although you don't need too many to get a very productive piglin trading hall because we only have what four or five in that uh, in that hall up there and that do, that does really nicely. The, the big problem's coming up with enough gold to make it worthwhile. Hello, beach duck. Or what pigs? Over here? Those are foxes. I meant to put them in, put them to work in a farm, and I just never quite got around to it. I wonder if I could do a, a, a sweet berry farm in 20 minutes. Ready, set, go. I guess it doesn't even have to be a big one at this point. It's just the principle of the thing. Uh, I need... What do I need? I need a brain. God, while away the hours, conferring with the flowers. If I only had a brain. Now I get more hoppers in my redstone box for a little bit longer. I don't know why I'm so worried about hoarding them either. We only got a couple weeks left for the season. Um, right. I need dirt, hoppers, storage. I need storage. I'll grab a couple double chests and then we'll send the overflow into a composter to make some bone meal and uh, drop the bone meal into a barrel. Oh, I'm going to need some blocks and 
glass. You know what? Let's flex all that crimson that we got. Hasty farm. I guess I should have built that one a little bit further forward. Then I could put this behind it, but I wasn't thinking about that at the time. down and move it. This one up here, it was three by three at a minimum. So that will be the Spencer's going to go there, so I'm going to put that. Let's uh, do that the other way. That's going to go there. Those guys are going to go there. A bit of dirt's going to go there. Trample the farmland there. And a dot there, a dot there. Block. Block. Observer. Block. Block. Redstone. System. Lever. Grind. stacks of bone meal. Yeah, 
neck and you could get a hopper going on the back of there, a hopper going on the back of there, and a hopper going on the back of there. And you could definitely upgrade your uh, bone meal storage and get more bone meal out of that too. Alright, so that's going to go there. Now, let's get back to this guy here. Oh, almost. I need... goes there. That goes there. Beans. Now go across and down, so we'll need chest, chest. Nope, that's not going to be centered. Rayest won't like it if it's not centered. Ah, don't have to worry about that in Skyblock! <laughs> <laughs> you, you sound a little too excited about that good sir make sure everything is off center <laughs> you, you you seriously get a torture rest like that <laughs> it's not like she'll ever come and visit my island anyways <laughs> System before season three. Two, three. Um, three. Oh, that is awfully close to that, isn't that? Yeah. Up. I'm late to the party. One, two, three that way. And one, two, three. Yeah, okay. Okay. That's my final answer. some over in here though, don't I? Yeah, I thought I was hoarding a few. Before it goes over, so it'll fill up here, then here, then here, then here, and then into the composter. Nope. Sleepy time, sleepy time.
Dundee is dressed. No? scale this back a little bit. I didn't realize how big 9x9 was going to look until I actually started putting it together. Going, our, our new size is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 by 4, 5 ah. 6, 7 7 by 7 works. So many hoppers. get used to not having plentiful iron <laughs> <laughs> for a little while uh, at least yeah until you get some villagers but uh even then even then I am just making this up on the fly. Let's leave a little light underneath. Beach Duck. If you wanted to, you could play this game too. I need three composters. Do I have any composters? In? I do not have any composters in here.
just temporarily. Yeah, but you could learn this game. Uh, maybe not on <laughs> maybe not on the Skyblock season, but on on a regular vanilla season. I, I don't know that you'd want to jump in on uh, on Skyblock. <laughs> nah, that's the perfect time for a noob to jump in. Uh, come on now, I wouldn't even joke. <laughs> here, here, here's two blocks of ice. Uh, a pumpkin seed, a melon seed, and, and, and may the admin have mercy on your character. Don't know why you should be special, but hey, it could happen. Haven't these baby chicks grown up yet? <laughs> Are you still after a chicken head? You're killing me with that quest. You know, you need to make a sweet berry farm. Sweet berries. I don't know where you're gonna find them. Mm -mm. Where would I put? No. Nope. There we go. Oh. glass here in a minute. No, not probably about it. I'm going to need a lot more red glass here in a minute. I wonder where all the red glass went to. Ooh, that doesn't match. Somebody's welcome to remake the farm. <laughs> no, you, you use too, too many red glasses. Hmm? You used too, too many red glass. Where? One of the corners. You, uh... No, did I mess up one of the corners? Mm-hmm. I did. Okay, that'll fix. Question is, is, do I remember this working correctly? Did 
you really have to hoe the land, though? Yes. Uh, not because uh, cause that makes it less than a block. And when the foxes are on top of the glass, they can just reach the berry bush enough to trigger a harvest, but not actually catch it. Which means that it falls on the on the hoed land, which is less than a block, which means the hoppers can pick it up without having to use a hopper minecart. Did you put water down there? Nope. You keep it hoed? It'll be fine because it technically has a crop on it. Sort of. Enough for the game mechanics. Nope. Nap time. It's close enough for government work. Well, game mechanics, but say, you know. Chickies grow, grow. <laughs> you are absolutely killing me with this obsession to collect a chicken head. I just want you to know that. I wanted to collect one head of everything in the game, but that's not going to happen. Because of the chickens? Because I wasted time and now I have two weeks to do it and What are you missing? Pig. I need to get that. I need a pig head. Come on, piggy. Don't run away. Uh, nope. Don't run away. <laughs> Don't run away. glass blocks. Although I think now that I'm thinking about it somebody went through and picked up all the extra glass. All right. Fine. I wonder who that was. I don't know. Somebody whose computer still hasn't cooperated. Apparently. Or they gave up to do other things. Although I guess technically if I get a, a max size villager trading hall, that'll, uh, that'll give me an XP farm. That's all I'm doing. I'm going to build one of the old school mob farms. Yeah, I've been thinking about how I want to do that. I got a couple ideas. I we'll see uh we'll see which ones actually end up working. All right. Or I get that in place. turns his back to him and oh what a hit <laughs> you're killing me smalls oh, that's one. <laughs> yay piggy head woohoo that didn't take long what's next well, now we got the sheep no. Oh, hey, doggy. Are, are you going to get one of each color? <laughs> I love I love how that's all of our question. Like, when you say sheep, do you just mean a sheep or all the sheep? Actually, I think I have a couple of sheep-colored heads. I just got a wolf, and I just got my pig... You've Don't. gotten a guardian head already, right? Yeah. 
I was gonna say, I think there's a. Uh, is, is this like you have to collect them yourself, or you just have yes. to collect them? No, I have to collect them myself. Okay. Yeah, somebody was trying to be really nice and dumped a bunch of heads over at my place. I'm like, uh, no, doesn't work that way. Oh, most of the chickies are grown. <laughs> Run, little chicken, run! It's okay. He's gonna botch the roll anyway. <laughs> Dude. Throw his, uh, throw his, uh, weapon across the room. Chickens will be fine. Do, do, do I need to mess with the loot tables and, uh... <laughs> well, when you said, when he just said he had, like, three new heads, I was like, man, Anon must have bumped up the... <laughs> no, not 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 this time. All right. Uh oh. I need All these guys are on leads, right? Okay. Oh, one of them is. Give me that back. Here, have a pork chop instead. I can't believe I just fed a fox a pork chop. There's something very, very wrong with that. <laughs> Oops! Didn't mean to do that. What? I accidentally killed the uh, the two that I was breeding. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that that might prove uh, somewhat problematic. Ah, I've got it. I've got a ton of. Uh... Hey guys, don't kill each other inside. Don't try to cram. What are you cramming for? <laughs> There's all this wide open area. Quit your pushing. Quit your pushing. All right, I'll be back for you. leave two foxes here so if anybody else wants to do something with them they can I just need the one guy that's not on a lead and I need a lead Hey, <laughs> that's another. Good, that's going to be another interesting thing. So, how how many of us are going to still end up lost in our own storage systems without Reyes to blame? I'm not going to lie. I I grabbed the lead and forgot the fox. Um, and this is why I will be rummaging throughout the storage system, even though I set it up. Am I wrong for that? Owning that. <laughs> I am or am not? I'm thinking you'll end up alone on that one. Cause you think so? Yeah. He's dead! Woo! Well. You say that, but... Uh... Oh, I'll eat those words if I actually get lost, but okay. I don't see it happening. You... You don't see yourself ending up rummaging around in box after box going, where did I put? Mm, mm. Not out loud where you guys can hear me do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to run away, aren't you? You're going to make this hard, aren't you?
Hey. Hey. Get back up. Hey. Oi. Did you say oi? Yeah. <laughs> I might have been listening to some ACDC before I got online. Just fed two baby foxes uh, pork chops. Why it's not like we have we don't have enough. Uh, it's not that. It's more you know feeding a baby fox a pork chop. Did you guys seriously grab the leads? You are the worst. Give me those leads back. You're having, you know, training difficulties with your new pets. Yep. Oh. Huh. Okay. I guess I do need to hydrate that. In the build where I saw this design, or in the example build, they didn't need to keep it hydrated. Well, doesn't that suck? All right. Fine. <laughs> I can make this work. Uh, I put the extra stair in storage, didn't I? Alright, I can make this work. Somebody keeps telling me I got this. <laughs> Thanks, Beach Duck. That wasn't what I meant, but I'll take it. <laughs> Isn't she just supportive? Mm-hmm. I still don't want to lose my foxes. sweet berries but I think I'll pick up enough along the way anyway if you could carry over one thing from this season to start the next season <laughs> On a late what would you take <laughs> with no rockets uh look they start you off with sugar cane and a creeper farm's not that hard to build <laughs> All right, let's try this one more time with feeling
And that should be enough over there, right? You know what, before I go through all this trouble, let me just go ahead and make a, a couple more spots. So, how do you turn on the chunks again? You lower your voice. And, uh, oh, no. What do you mean? Oh, the chunk borders? Yeah. F3G. Because it is your chunk grid. Ah. Uh. That is curious, though, because, again, uh, it wasn't like an official build guide or anything, so maybe maybe you had hydrated land and I just didn't know it. Uh, but I could have sworn that he didn't have any hydrated land and the, and the, the land stayed hoed. Try this again once more with feeling. Going to pillar up. Go under here. I'm going to make sure I do this right on the last row so I don't paint myself into a corner and have to crawl through the uh, sweetberry bushes to get out. Respect. I probably should have tried to silence those guys.
Yeah, between those three water sources, that should be enough to keep everything hydrated. The hitbox of a fully grown shrub, or sweetberry bush, uh, gets just far enough into the hitbox of the glass that the fox can reach it to trigger the planting. question is if any of these guys will go for one while we're watching on screen. Um, ironically enough, the... Oh, did he get one? I think he did. Uh, ironically enough, the one thing that would make this farm go even better is if I put a pig or something in here. Because these guys will sleep at certain points during the day. Oh, they do occasionally nab one. Seriously. Huh. You guys are eating into my profits. Oh, I still gotta finish the hole in the roof. I mean, if I really want to do this right, I'll go uh, find a pig somewhere and drag him in there. Because uh, when foxes see a uh, some of the other passive mobs like pigs and sheep, they will actually keep working when they'd normally sleep. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of weird like that. Are they afraid the pig's going to steal their, you know... I, I have Ooh, no idea happen. what the reasoning is or what the logic is. Um, I just realized I need, I need to get some light in there. I know the perfect thing, too. Let me go... Back over this way. Probably ought not do that while flying. not worried about stuff spawning uh, both on the glass and on the tilled soil but light levels affect plant growth so I want to get some lights up for that and just to make it look a little brighter symmetrical. Where are we going? There. Oh. I'm going into the tree. That's where I'm going. That's still an ugly square building. That is not the prettiest thing I've ever built. I mean, still better looking than the uh, tree farm, but this is... I'm just trying to get the mechanics together.
If we had more time on the server, I'd work a little harder on making it prettier. But now here's the question. Alright. So I'll remove all the sweet berries out of there, and we'll see how many are there next week. Yeah, I wouldn't mind building a little bit more of a uh, facade around stuff. And not all the sweet berry bushes have grown yet. How am I going to find a pig? And how many of my profits are those guys going to eat? I was actually tempted to uh, add a sweetberry bush to the uh, starting box for our sky block. But with the two bone meal, you should be able to grow enough wheat to get bread and all that. I was also thinking that uh, even a single sweetberry would, would be a little OP because of the speed at which they, uh, they make. Yeah, but they also don't last as long. But, you know, you go through them real quick. You're not going to be... Uh... Oh, that's ugly. Where's... i got to fix that. Mm -mm. I can't let... No, that's not... So, uh, it's definite easier early game survival like you're not going to starve to death in the first day or two but you would not want to rely on sweet berries for your long term food supply not by a long shot oh, that's almost better oh that's as good as I can make it okay That's as good as it gets. And that's as good as it gets. <laughs> Alright, we'll see how far that goes. I mean, they already left me five in a few minutes. Got that one stubborn shrub. But the idea is that there should be plenty of these already ready for them to harvest. So the only limit is the number of foxes. And, uh, I mean, I guess technically I could always go in and breed up a couple of more foxes since I've got two of them in there. Just out of curiosity, have you figured out what they say? No, I haven't figured out what the fox says. Hi guys. Baby fox doo 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 baby fox. Oh no. Huh? <laughs> I said oh no. Come back with some more name tags later. Actually, I wonder what the optimal number of foxen for a farm this size would be. Ooh, I wonder if we're going to be able to get foxes on Skyblock. 
because uh, they only grow in certain biomes. So I guess it's going to be at a minimum when you can unlock the appropriate biome. Because uh, you can change... Everybody's Island starts by default uh, as a part of the ocean biome. And then you change it as you as you go. You can change it. You can even change it regionally. So you can set off a section as uh, Taiga or uh, the whatever forest. And those change what uh what passive mobs and all that stuff spawn. That's not bad. Two small farms and I fixed the big one. Well, I'm gonna put air quotes on fixed. I mean, I could go all government style and just declare mission accomplished and we'll just walk away from this as if it was working perfectly fine. I mean, I think it's working perfectly fine now. <laughs> All right. Let me uh, back up my beacon. I kind of wish there was a uh, Blanca you could use for beacons. That was just a little bit easier to pick up. <laughs> Don't want to have a haste beacon for your beacon? I mean, I mean, but then you still need haste to take out the haste beacon that you use to take out the other beacon. So, you know, <laughs> it's beacons all the way down. starting to see why <laughs> why at a certain point some of the uh, bigger minecrafters just leave beacons all over the place mm -hmm. it's actually easier to kill the wither than it is to, <laughs> to, to take down the beacon <laughs> that's true especially after you have such an efficient iron farm well that but even then you get a you get a good enough villager trading system and you can have an emerald beacon pretty easy. I I believe that is your flex of choice is to have an emerald beacon. Yeah. You can have lapis beacons, uh, which again, if you get enough uh, enough of the right villagers, that's not a hard bar to pass. That's what I should do. What? Just make me a diamond beacon. A diamond? Yeah, yeah, you could do that too. Um, no, the ultimate flex was in Corrales' last video. He's using diamond blocks as scaffolding to build a an, a, a, a playground. <laughs> Wait. Dude, when, when you're using diamond blocks as scaffolding... I guess looky looky at my bookie was uh, far more uh, profitable than anybody ever imagined. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure Doc imagined, but uh, yeah, well, a little too slow to that. Uh... He was a little too slow to the start, but he even then, once uh, once some of the personal stuff kicked in, he wasn't going to be on to keep everything up. I I can't I can't blame him on that one though. my beacon pits box. Two beacons and some fodder. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I should clean all that stuff up too. Later. Maybe. Yeah. Oh. I, just, I went on a diamond hunting spree right after I got my chicken head. Yeah. <laughs> I found 18 diamond ore so far. Seriously? Mm hmm. Yeah, I, I didn't do much mining, but of what little I did, it was not, it was not that lucky. 
It was not that lucky at all. Oh, hey, glass over here. Look at that. And there's no there's no mess. A project that is finished with no mess. Huh. Does it have a roof? It doesn't need a roof. <laughs> you uh need sky access for the stuff to grow. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> If you believe that, I got a uh, a prime piece mm -hmm. of uh, the Nebraska Navy to sell you. <laughs> Genuine memorabilia. No, 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 not 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 that one, not that one. <laughs> All right, make that twenty-three. There's my bag of holding. There's all my tools. Everything's filling in there. Okay. So I I'll set myself up to AFK over here. And this is where I say thank you for joining along. We stream Tuesday. Well, I stream Tuesdays at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. These other guys stream at other times. So you should definitely give them a subscription, uh, a, a follow, a subscription. No, that's for the YouTube, which I also have. And the, the live stream replays go there, Games Revisited goes there, and various and sundry other projects like my Village Voice mod with the custom Village Voices, the recently released Wandering Trader Voices, uh, and whatever else I put together. So follow on Twitch, that way you'll get notified when I go live with this on Tuesdays, Games Revisited on Fridays. And if you subscribe on YouTube, you'll get the replays for those if you miss them and anything else I post up. And with all that said and done, I'm going to see who is available for a raid. Beast Lord is available for a raid, and he is playing Darkest Dungeon, it looks like. So let's uh, let's go say hello to Beast Lord. Follow him if you haven't already. And uh, I'll catch you next time. <laughs>